Okay, so today we are reviewing the Philips Premium XXL Air Fryer. This is the 9860 top of the shelf model and we have been using this extensively for over a month and we have some really interesting thoughts of the product and today's review will cover its hardware, its software, um, its cooking capacity, its heat distribution and ultimately at the end of the day, if you are looking for an air fryer in the market, should you consider buying this or something entirely different. So let's start with the hardware design of the premium air fryer. Now, obviously you can see the gold finishes, which is really, really nice from a design perspective. And actually, if you see that the LED panel is also quite clear to depict the temperature as well as the time of the cook itself. It comes with an analog dial, which has a very nice tactile feeling, which I actually quite like. And there are different buttons here, which we will cover later in the review. Now, in terms of the design wise, this holds approximately 7.5 three liters worth of volume of food in terms of weight this holds at 1.4 kilos and there's also an extendable cord at the back that you can keep within the air fryer itself which allows for a very nice cleanup now the basket and the chamber are actually two separate entities so if I lift it up here you can see that this is the basket and this is the chamber right now on its own, it comes with a basket tray just like this, so perforated. And within the chamber itself, you will also see a star-shaped design that supposedly is claimed by Philips to actually draw more oil from the food you're cooking, hence making it healthier of a cook, which is um, in many cases the primary reason of getting an air fryer in the first place. Philips claims that the suction mechanism that this air fryer uses instead of a blowing mechanism, plus the star-shaped design within the chamber draws out oil. Now when we tested this, we did notice the airflow is definitely much better, especially when you compare it to many OEM brands outside. Now in Southeast Asia, there are a lot of very weird companies that actually basically imitate brands like Philips to produce their own air fryers. And for sure, I think when you compare that to this, this definitely has a much better heat distribution and heat circulation through its air. Now I want to talk a little bit about the design of the basket and the chamber. There's no mechanism that allows you to hold the chamber with the basket entirely and you have to separate them out by hand. Now this in itself comes as a potential design flaw in my opinion, mainly because when you go and clean this, you have to wait for this entire thing to cool down or use mittens and bring it to the sink and then wash it separately in that sense. The tray itself, it's pretty good. No, no much complaints over here. Now, when we talk about a tray and the air fryer in general, we also have to talk about accessories and peripheral design, which you can get. The one that's most popular is this grill that we have over here. Effectively, if you compare this to the tray that comes with the original product, you will obviously notice that you know there's more holes in this one and there's less air for your pass through the food in this one. As the name suggests, this is designed for you to replace a grill or a broiler and get that same nice charred effect, right? Um, and it does, right? But again, bear in mind that this is an air fryer. It only goes up to 200 degrees Celsius at best. And so you might not necessarily get those same charred flavors or marks within a grilled setup, but it's a nice thing to have for sure. Now, beyond that, there are also things like racks, skewers to make satay and meats of sorts, kebabs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, you know, not so bad, I guess. Um, but we also have a little basket over here that you can use to bake cakes, uh, put vegetables, things of that sort, right? Which are all also very nice. Now you would personally use this if you don't want to clean up, you know, if let's say the food has a lot of residue, water, oil and stuff like that, it is kind of a nice thing to have so that you can just put it into the air fryer and just clean this basket instead of the entire chamber. Now, here's the funny thing. These are great air fryer accessories, but they do cost a fair bit of money. I think I've easily spent about 500 ringgit on all these additional accessories, which for most people might not be the best case. And here's why. You can get a lot of different accessories, whether it's OEM or not, not, not from Philips, and they do effectively the same thing. So for example, there are air fryer liners that you can get in the market. Just go through Lazada, Shopee, or any of the online web platforms, you can also find similar design items at a fraction of the price. So if you want to get them, I don't know man, I, I might actually go for those OEM brands over the Philips brand if I'm not doing a review, but you do you. 
So let's talk about the software or the cooking functions of the Philips air fryer. Now, at the end of the day, it can also set temperature and time just like any other air fryers out there. But if you look at the LED panel, there are also a few buttons of interest. Number one, there's a keep warm function where the air fryer actually just fluctuates between turning on and off itself um, to keep a food warm. But there's also a preset function that you can set based on your favorite setting, but you can only set one preset. Now there's more importantly, the smart sensing function that Philips is claiming to be one of the most unique value propositions within this Philips XXL air fryer. And what it actually is, is, is basically within a set choice of food items whether it's fish drumsticks a whole chicken when you put the item in and you select that smart sensing function it will actually detect supposedly what the food is and cooking it to a set doneness that is generally desired by most people so we first tested this with potatoes and we were quite impressed actually if you check out the first impressions video but we started realizing that it wasn't the smartest sensor in the world in the sense that when it came to potatoes and products when you actually have a cooked version it doesn't detect that it's actually cooked it actually repeats its own cycle so what we started suspecting was that it's actually not a smart sensing function but rather just another preset function and this is true for all kinds of food we've tested. We tested chicken, we've tested fish and when it comes to potato based products you can kind of get away with it because there's a quite a wide spectrum of doneness for potatoes. When it comes to things like chicken or fish or meats for that matter, the number one, the set doneness that is built in is what I would like to call a food safe doneness. So not the most culinarily moist or appealing textures and flavors but very safe kind of a cooking format and i guess what philips is trying to do here is that if you are a, well someone who doesn't cook at all and you're just brand new to cooking supposedly that is going to help you and granted if you have never cooked before that level of doneness is better than burning your food entirely which i guess kudos to philips but the truth is especially when it comes to fish when I put in two fillets of salmon inside over here and I use the smart function set for fish, it cooked the two fillets at 200 degrees Celsius for over 17 minutes. It was smoking everywhere and I had to actually pull it out halfway because it was just getting overdone. And true enough, when you tasted it, it was really, really dry. It wasn't the way I would normally cook and eat fish. So, Personally, from a technological perspective, the smart sensing function over here that is supposedly its biggest value proposition, in my opinion, I don't think it's actually any that great. I think it's just another preset function. Um, and I don't know, if you experience something different with the air fryer, please let me know. But that's what I found so far. Personally, I don't like it. I, I think I would prefer to set my own temperatures and adjust as I go along. Now, one very important thing that we have to talk about is, well, the price. So this model over here cost at retail 1,600 ringgit. And I got it at a sale uh, for 1,200 ringgit. Like I said, it comes with the basket and just one tray and that's essentially it. Accessories are not included. Now, do I think it's worth 1,600 ringgit? No. The short answer is no, I think it's worth more 1,000, 1,002 ringgit at best. Um, the design aspect is really, really nice, but the, f the, the biggest glaring issue for me is just a smart sensor. It just doesn't make sense to me because like you claim it to be smart, but it's not smart. And as such, I don't think it's worth $1,600, which comes to my next point and my final point, should you buy this air fryer? Now, for me, obviously I've bought it, I will keep this air fryer, but if I were to re, you know, get into the market for a new air fryer, would I get this model? No, I won't. I would actually go down one step to the 9625 model, if I'm not mistaken, the one with the silver handles and silver design. And the only difference between those two models is the color as well as the lack of a smart sensor function. For a reduction of about 400 ringgit, I think it's well worth it, especially if you get it on sale. You can get it for about what 900 ringgit or less maybe and i think that's a much better buy the tactile feeling of the analog dial is same and that's honestly my favorite part of the entire air fryer it's it's just nice to set the function and get it started and whatnot so here you go this is the philips xxl air fryer you know let me know did you actually own this model did you buy it did you enjoy it did you experience the same issues i face if you have a question comment down below and i'll try to answer them as best i can and heck if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and if you want more reviews on any other food and health related content do subscribe and stay around we produce videos every week and i'll see you next time
Bye. Okay, I'm trying to appease you, Daddy. Daddy, am I making you proud, Daddy? No, you're not.